hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, let's change the oil on this Volkswagen Passat, 2 liter diesel, 2007 I think, alright, the abbreviation of the motor of the engine is uh, BKP. So it's a 2 liter diesel, Volkswagen, it's maybe fitted in all kinds of other Volkswagen group, Audi group vehicles. So the first thing we need to do is drain the oil. There is a under tray underneath the, underneath the sump. So what you can do is take the whole thing off. I'm not going to show that because I have it removed, um, but you can do that, or there is a little opening that you can do, uh, I think it's dripping right on, the, if that's the pan, the oil is dripping on the tray when uh, when it's drained, so it's, it's your choice really. Um, other thing that we need to do is take this thing off here. So, the way to take it off, press here, right there, right here, and put it to one side. And now we need a big socket, I'll just take my socket, and I'll give you the right size, I'll stop the video for a second. So, 32 millimeter. don't use, uh, actually we'll stop the video to show you what not to use. You know? Okay, similar to the 1.9 uh, CDTI of Voxel and uh, GTD of uh, uh, Alfa Romeo, they have a very bad design on where the oil filter is. So don't use one of these because you might, this is plastic, so it might strip and it's going to be a big pain. We can use a big socket on this one, but don't use one of these by yourself. Uh, one of these 32 millimeter it can be really tight from time to time so let's hope it didn't I didn't put it too tight the last time okay it's tight okay so after we got it undone make sure you got this one undone before you drain the oil I know I said the first thing is to drain the oil but make sure you got this one undone otherwise I've seen people not manage to undo this one or ruin the whole cap and it's, it's a bad situation because you're without the oil and you know just just make sure it's, you can get it undone now i will lay under the car and i'll tell you what's the socket for the for the oil plug <laughs> okay so we got under the car usually here there is a tray that's being holding from here here over here here it's holding in multiple places so the first thing you can do is take the tray off or or you can uh, uh, try to get to the plug without taking the tray I've done it before without taking the tray off so it is possible okay give it a little tap let's tighten it what I'm doing? Am I am tightening it? I'm tightening it. You should go to the... To this side. Okay. A little tray underneath. All of the plugs are... Closed on the... On the top, if uh, you have the dipstick or the oil filter thingy open, the resistance, the air resistance of the oil is going to be a lot more, a lot less, and the oil is going to flow a lot easier. So try everything to be plugged in and closed when you open the drain plug. 
or you can be clever and use a pump. I still don't trust the pumps enough. Okay, don't forget that's like 5 liters of oil, so you need double the size of the capacity of the tray. That's like 19 liters gallon, so it's gonna be enough. Okay. Let's continue on the top. Okay. Okay, so uh, after we leave the oil to drain, let's get this rag around this cap. You can do it in without doing that. I will just try to eliminate all the mess. It's gonna happen in a second. Take a piece of something that can soak oil. I'll get this piece of soaking pad. And let's get it undone. Just need to push it around, and it's not gonna happen, is it? No. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. It was so long ago that I changed it that I forgot what I did. Okay, so I have the cap. Have that oil filter with a little thingy on the top. I can I can hear the oil draining. Let's see what is the what is the filter I put the last time. I don't remember. I think it was a cheap one. I really like the previous ones. Can you see how? How it's uh, it's not evenly distributed. The filtering uh, it's not evenly distributed. That's a bad thing of filters. So you got somewhere a lot more filtering paper than like here. It's not distributed properly. But that's because it's so many miles. I think it's like twelve thousand miles on this filter. Okay, I'll get the new one and we'll fit the new one in. Okay. Okay. So we got the new filter. I will put a little bit of foil on the seal right here. There we go. Let's see. The reason, can you see? It's missing an O-ring. Usually, this one it's supposed to come with O-ring that sits right here. This one it doesn't come. Male filter. This one is fitting originally. I don't know if someone pinched it or something, but. You're supposed to change the cap o-ring right here so you don't end up with a leak. Okay, so let's fill it, let's fit the filter. Can you can you get closer to here? Okay, so we need to make sure. The filter is fitted properly. It feels like one. Feels like it's fitted okay. And now I will need to reuse that O ring because I don't have a new one. Then just not make a mess and get this thing sorted. Okay. Okay, make sure you align it properly because it's plastic and if you don't align it like it's supposed to go in straight, you strip the thread and you end up in a bad situation that you don't want to end up in. Okay, it's going fine. Let's remove that thing so it doesn't get screwed in with it. Okay. 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 Well, 
very gently. 25 newton meters it needs. 25 newton meters with my specially calibrated hand. It was like 25. There we go. Okay, let's put that, that back in. So it, it needs to be just like that. Make sure you don't have any vacuum pipes disconnected, any sensors disconnected. It's sitting properly. Yeah, I had it once. It didn't go all the way out, all the way up, and it got uh, moved to one side, so be careful. Okay, let's open that cup. Now, when you're changing the plug, depending on what type of uh, washer you got, you might be having a copper one, copper one you need to replace it every time but this one is metal so it doesn't need to be replaced and it's not leaking don't put a copper one on top of the metal one just keep the metal one and don't replace it, reuse it every time if uh, something starts leaking you need to buy a whole new plug so just wipe it a little bit make sure there is no gunk and other stuff I'll go down and uh, screw it back in okay so we need a special oil for this uh, engine the certification and specification of the motor oil for Volkswagen is very important because they have special DPF filters so you need to be very careful when you're choosing an oil this one is cheap oil it's bought from a cow fund but still it covers the approvals for Volkswagen 504 and 507 so you need to be very careful when you're choosing an oil check at the engine this one needs to cover for this engine the oil needs to cover 504 and 507 specification for uh, Volkswagen and be careful 507.01 for example I'm not sure that such a thing exists but .01 it's not the same as uh, zero zero so check for engine and uh, and use only the oils that are approved by Volkswagen because the your turbo will last longer and your DPF because of the sulfur in the in the oil will last longer of uh, the sulfur is uh, the ashes and it's anti ash and it's just just make sure that you're buying the the correct thing and you don't put anything because it's, if it's an old you can see a video for uh, Astra in my uh, channel you can probably put a whatever oil and it's gonna be okay but this one is not this one will get toved up and it's gonna get ruined so let's put four liters for uh, for beginning I'll put four liters and we'll check the level there we go I'll stop the video now and uh, we'll get back when I finish with the top and the mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I think it's around 3 liters now. If you need a little bit of a little bit more tomorrow morning in the morning, always check it in the morning. So that's 3.5 liters. Let's check the dipstick. Very easy. If it doesn't want to go out, don't push it. You can see it's already broken by someone pulling it. Put your thumb. Put your thumb or uh, no, put your uh, index finger. Thank you. And just twist to the left. Okay, let's see. It's already on the dipstick. That's good. I don't know. I don't remember what was the capacity of this motor. But I know that I need to buy five liters of oil. Uh, so it's right to the maximum. We'll start the engine now. I'll jump in. I'll take everything out. Close the cap. 
and uh, start the engine. Let it run for. Oh, this was bad. Did you saw that? Ah, that's that's the right way to put it up. It needs to go all the way up. I know I didn't do something right. And uh, <clears throat> we'll let it run for a couple of seconds, and we'll start again. Okay. okay so the last step is uh, let's check the oil. We started the engine. Run it for uh, 10, 15 seconds. Okay, now it's clean. Let's put it back in. Give it, give it a second. I can see a little bit of oil here. So let's wipe it off. Sometimes there is a little bit of oil left in the oil pipe. So let's put it back in and check again. Okay, so we can see the level at the moment is at the minimum. I know that between the minimum and the maximum is one liter. I got left in here a liter and a half, so it makes sense to need to need another liter. I'll put half and in the morning, because my garage is not completely level, I'll stop it somewhere where it's level and I will check again. In the morning when it's cold, that's the moment you need to check your uh, level. There you go, half a liter. Let's put a bit more. And that's it. That's how to change the oil on your uh, Volkswagen. I hope the video was helpful and I'll see you next time.